this is Praxis and still working on the wall of the shed right here. Uh, got most of, well, I don't know, two thirds of this wall done. And I'm starting to work on some boards on the other side because uh, I'm just trying to optimize you know, the use of the boards that I have here. Uh, the ones all on the front here were all uh, eight foot boards. I was able to cut off just like about that much off an eight foot board and that fit in really nicely on the back wall. Uh, they're all 10 foot boards, again, cutting off just about that much in order to make those fit in. A lot of those are drying over there uh, right now. Uh, the ones on the left are first pass. The ones on the, uh, the right are, have two passes of seal. In fact, you can see the difference between these two right here. Uh, this one has two passes, a little darker. This one I'm about to put on the second pass now, and you can see it's a little lighter. These are going to be going up on the east face of the, uh, uh, the building over there. The one that has a gable end. You can see they've got the angled cuts on the side. And I just want to talk a little bit about how I approach uh, doing these angled cuts, because uh, while every single board on this face is 92 inches over here, and on the other face, face I think it's 116 and a half or something like that, uh, each one of these boards is very specific, very unique, not interchangeable with any other boards because they're constantly uh, you know, changing height. And the way that I kind of work that is that I try not to get too far ahead of myself while I'm pre uh, prepping and cutting the boards. Uh, this is going to be the first board that goes around the corner over there after the one that I've already got in place that you know I've had in since the beginning because I started at that corner. And this is going to be the second board that goes after that. And you can see this one, if I put it right up to it, kind of lines up on both ends over over like that. So uh, when I make the, the next board after that, what I do is I take this board and I put it next to another board and I match the bottoms right here and then I just continue this top scribe uh, up across there. But um, I don't like to get too far ahead of myself because there's always a chance of a little bit of uh, error kind of creeping into what I'm doing. So I only work like maybe three, maybe four boards ahead uh, because uh, every once in a while I'll notice all oh, my boards are starting to kind of get a little short so I'll have to, you know, uh, make them a little longer. So you don't want to get too, too far ahead of yourself when you're doing that. Otherwise, you know, you might, uh, you know, create kind of an issue. And uh, I think you can see a little bit of that happening right over here little bit of a correction. Uh, I was starting from, as these were going, I, I was starting from that side, and as they were coming down, you can see there's a little bit of a gap beginning right over here, and as it accumulated, I said, okay, well, I, I need to make this board a little taller to tuck it up under there a little more. So, so as you're going, you want to kind of correct as you go down. Now, that, this isn't going to be a problem. There'll be a piece of trim board that's going to go right across the uh, the top of that right there, but it's an illustration of what you want to try to avoid, which is if you get too far ahead of yourself, you know, you could be like six inches off by the time you get to the end. So, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, River and Amber were both helping me this morning. It was actually hard for me to keep up by, uh, I was putting boards up and they were kind of uh, stealing boards. They're taking a bit of a break right now and I'm using the opportunity to try to get back ahead of them. That's it. Thanks for watching.